Okay, so in this video I'm going to talk about Kotor, which is inside that uh, those walls. Kotor is full of history. It was from the Illyrians to the uh, Venetians. Actually, most of the architecture that is inside that place is Venetian. Today, even the, the Jews, the, uh, what was Yugoslavia. So everybody passed through this uh, town. And normally, it's in low season. There is not too much people. Right now, it's low season. But since it was um, New Year's Eve, a massive um, cruise came. You can see the difference between the walls and this cruise um, came here just to celebrate, I guess, New Year's Eve. And um, yeah, in another video, I show you how I uh, will climb those walls. Fortunately, the videos that I make for this video inside the town were done before this mass massive cruise came, so it will have way less people. So this is San Lucas Church. It's quite small church. It started like a, as a Catholic church, and then um, it became Catholic and Orthodox, and it has actually two altars, and they will take turns to do the you know the mass um, for Catholics and for uh, the Orthodox and later it was uh, like given to the Orthodox at the end and it has like a lot of um, cooperation it, it tells a lot about uh, cooperation between Serbs and uh, Croats very interesting this one small okay so this is uh, San Nicolas Church and you can see um, that it has a very interesting mosaic um, the style is semi-Byzantine and Romanesque. Inside there is some canvas that are very interesting. It was a gift from, uh, they were a gift from Russia. They gave it in 1998, the end of the 90s. It's the most important Orthodox um, place here in Kotor. Very, very interesting. Okay, so this is uh, St. Clair's uh, church. It's a Catholic church. You can see there that there is the window with the classical 12 um, representation of the 12 uh, apostles by these uh, columns. It has some tainted glass, but it looks like it needs to be clean or maybe it's broken. It was built between the 14th century and 17th century, I think. And it's very, uh, like it doesn't have a lot of ornamentation outside, but inside it's um, very baroque um, like a Venetian baroque style very interesting okay this is the cats museum it's a small entrance and it has basically everything related to cats lithographies paintings caricatures satire scientific facts everything that has to do with cats uh, it has a small fee and basically the fee is used to um, help the multiple cats that Kotor has. It's actually Kotor famous for the cats. Very small but cute museum. Okay, so this is an Orthodox church, St. Michael's uh, Church, and it used to be a Benedictine uh, abbey, or, and then they built the church on top of it. The interesting thing is that it, it suffered severe damage during the earthquake or, of uh, 1976, and there is a collection of rocks from that earthquake inside and also it has a lapidarium that you can see here some of the tombstones that you can see in the POV that I will record so this is a um, Catholic church St. Trifon's church and it was consecrated in um, 1166 as you can see there the number it's a Catholic church, but St. Trifon is um, the Saint Patron of Kotor, and it, it has very um, important meaning, this saint, for Catholics and Orthodox, which makes sense uh, that is the Patron of Kotor, because here Orthodox and Catholics have a lot of good relation. It suffered after many uh, earthquakes, it suffered several damage. One of them, they decide to add these uh, bells. One of them, these columns, is not completely finished, as you can see. Uh, inside, there is a relic. It's the head of St. Trifon. Um, yeah, 
very interesting details. This is uh, San Mary's Collegiate um, Church, which was built in um, the 1221. And basically, um, on top of a 6th century cathedral. So it's a Catholic uh, church, and you can see these bronze doors from the 20th century. So they have like a very different style. Very interesting. Inside is a um, um, crystal coffin with the remains of Osana del Cataro, which was a person that decided just to um, be walled there and just to pray all day. It has like a small cell where she was praying all day. So basically like a, like a prisoner, very weird. Yeah, this is the clock towel. They are doing some maintenance, you can hear. This one was built in 1602 and below you have this pyramid made out of stone that was to punish people that misbehave in previous times. Yeah, very, very cool clock. So this is the Maritime Museum of Kotor. It's in a palace from the 18th century and basically it holds all navy paraphernalia from um, yeah, from how powerful Kotor was in uh, their time as a navy float. Okay, and you can see here the sea gate. It was uh, built in 1555 by the Venetian uh, Republican regime. You can see uh, the classical lion symbol of the Venetian uh, rulers and also this star that commemorates the liberation of the town from the Nazi regime by the Soviets. Also you can see a quote from Tito here, who was the ruler of what was uh, Yugoslavia. This is the main entrance of the old town. And you can see here this stone relief from the 15th century. It's Madonna and Child with Santifon in one side and San Bernard in the other side. You can see that it's uh, very interesting the way they picture it with very big heads. Okay, uh, this is the Curtain Gate or South, the South Gate. And you can see it has a bastion here and you can see also that it's it has water here, a bridge, and that's the entrance. And goes to the wall. Also, this kind of little space of water cross this other bridge, and that other bridge, and goes to the bay. Okay, in Montenegro, most of the population is Orthodox, and Orthodox follow the Julian calendar, not the Gregorian calendar. So that's why Christmas is on uh, uh, January the 7th. So it's like a second Christmas for me because there's still Christmas here.